Hello, I am Palash Kumar Dotto, Mechanical Engineer and Machine Designer. Now, I am teaching you about carburetor. What is the function of carburetor first? Yeah, carburetor is a device which mixes petrol and air at a uniform proportion at different working and loading condition of the car. Different loading condition means starting, idling, part throttle, full throttle, accelerating, deaccelerating, different condition. Yeah. Okay. So at starting condition, air and uh, petrol ratio uh, that is um, this is 1 is to 9. Yeah. 1 is to 9. This is the starting condition. Yeah. Uh, during idling condition, that is uh, 1 is to 10. Here, 1 means petrol and 9 means air. During part total condition, it will be 1 is to 15. This is a normal air fuel ratio, natural air fuel ratio. But uh, if it is chemically corrected, then it will be uh, 1 is to 14.6 and you can be reversely uh, placed that is 9 is to 1, 10 is to 1 in this way okay and now part throttle this is full throttle condition okay during full throttle condition this is 1 is to uh, 13 and the air fuel ratio uh, below which petrol or petrol engine cannot run that is 1 is to 20 or less than yeah this is different loading condition and carburetor is a device which mixes air and petrol at this uniform uh, at uniform loading condition yeah now here how carburetor works this is carburetor barrel and this is venturi and at the utmost position this is check mark yeah this is check mark when car moves in front side then in this way air air enters this is air that means the amount of air is controlled by check valve yeah now when air enters through this gap, this is venturi. This is called venturi. That means air is restricted by this venturi. Yeah. So here uh, area is reduced. Area is reduced. If area reduced, then volume uh, velocity will be increased. And why this is? This is from continuity equation a1 v1 equal to a2 v2 if here area is decreased then velocity will be increased so here venturi when air uh, through this gap as area here decreases then velocity will be increased if velocity will be increased then volume will be increased volume will be why volume will be increased because volume equal to area into distance at a particular time if you divide by t then it will be area into velocity remind it small v for velocity capital v for volume okay so uh, velocity will be increased and so volume will be increased and if volume uh, increases then pressure will be decreased because Boyle's law, yes, Boyle's law. So Boyle's law, P V equal to constant. So volume proportional to one by pressure. So pressure drop. That means when air passes through this venturi, pressure drop. Here partial vacuum. Here partial vacuum is taken place. Okay. So air cannot uh, passes through this gap. And here, 
So air is entered through this through this pipe, and this is called air bleed hole. Yeah, and this air bleed hole is connected connected a a chamber. This is called float chamber. Yeah. So here this is float chamber. Yeah. This is float chamber. Here petrol inside the float chamber and a float valve. Look at this figure. A float valve. Here this is float valve. Floats on the petrol. And a needle valve is attached through this float valve and here a pipe and which is connected by pump, P for pump and then petrol tank. Pump continue sucks petrol from petrol tank and delivers it to float chamber. This is float chamber. This is float chamber. Yeah. Now, as air passes through this air bleed hole and presses petrol, so petrol, look at this figure, so petrol enters through this gap and and complete complete uh, fill fill the partial vacuum. Yeah. And when petrol enters through this gap, here idle jet idle jet means this is zoom out this is idle jet and here petrol is passed through this gap here area is also decreases so velocity will be increased so high velocity petrol moves towards uh, the nozzle and when it passes through this gap and comes out uh, to the partial vacuum partial vacuum this is pressure is uh, negative yeah if pressure is negative then boiling point will be negative boiling point negative means petrol here at normal temperature converts into vapor so this vapor now suspend on the uh, dark particle of air that means here air and petrol mixes this is called mixing chamber Yes, this is called mixing chamber. And now the air petrol mixture comes below, comes towards below through this gap, and <coughs> the amount of air petrol mixture is controlled by throttle valve. Yeah, this is throttle valve. And now look at the figure. Now the air petrol mixture, this is throttle valve air petrol mixture comes through this gap and passes passes look passes through the induction manifold this is the induction manifold and comes into cylinder this is inlet valve yeah this is exhaust valve this is carburetor and this is actually cylinder here this is cylinder and here actually piston and piston this is piston rod this is crank pin this is crank this is crank set yeah and when air petrol mixture enters through the cylinder the piston pushes from this position tdc to bdc and here in this way air petrol mixture is prepared uh, by the carburetor Okay, on the next day, uh, I will teach you this uh, air petrol mixture after entering into the cylinder, what will be happened? Yeah, in four stroke petrol cycle. Okay, so rewind it and if any problem, please give comment to me. Okay, okay, goodbye.